With rising global tensions, the Embraer C-390 Millennium is set to transform aviation. Many countries are eager to secure this aircraft for years to come. But why is this game changer in such high demand? Let's find out. Have you ever wondered what makes an aircraft not just powerful but indispensable in modern aviation? Enter the C-390 Millennium, crafted by the Brazilian aerospace giant Embraer. This medium-sized aircraft with two jet engines is the largest and heaviest plane Embraer has ever built. The journey of the C-390 Millennium began back in the mid-2000s when Embraer, already renowned for its commercial jets, sought to create something more robust akin to the legendary Lockheed C-130 Hercules. Opting for jet engines over the more common turboprop they aimed for better speed and efficiency. The Brazilian government and the Brazilian Air Force were on board from the start. In May 2008, the government invested about $440 million, signaling their commitment to this new aircraft. Less than a year later, in April 2009, Embraer received a $1.5 billion contract to build two prototypes. Why did Embraer decide to think ahead and announce plans for a stretched version of the C-390 Millennium? By 2011, Embraer was already looking to the future. At the Paris Air Show, they announced plans for a stretched version of the C-390 Millennium aimed at the civilian freight market. This move opened doors to new possibilities and partnerships. Embraer teamed up with several aerospace companies, including FADEA, ENAER, OGMA, and even Boeing. However, a proposed joint venture with Boeing in 2019 fell apart within six months. What makes the C-390 Millennium a product of international collaboration? Building the C-390 Millennium involves a collaborative effort with major subcontractors. Companies like Aero Vodashodi, BAE Systems, and Rockwell Collins play significant roles in bringing this mighty aircraft to life. On February 3, 2015, the Embraer C-390 Millennium took to the skies for the first time, marking a significant milestone. By September 4, 2019, the Brazilian Air Force received the first production model. Just a couple of months later, at the Dubai Air Show, Embraer announced a new name for its global market, the C-390 Millennium. How did the C-390 Millennium quickly attract international interests? The aircraft quickly drew attention from around the globe. Countries like Portugal, Hungary, and the Netherlands secured orders for their air forces. This plane isn't just a one-trick pony. It can be set up for various missions, whether it's transporting troops, VIPs, cargo, or performing specialized tasks like aerial refueling, the C-390 is up to the challenge. What makes the C-390 Millennium a standout in terms of load capacity and mission flexibility? One of its standout features is its ability to carry heavy loads. The C-390 Millennium can handle up to 26 tons, meaning it can transport two fully tracked M113 armored personnel carriers, a single boxer armored vehicle, a Sikorsky H-60 helicopter, 74 litters with life support equipment, up to 80 soldiers, or 60 paratroopers with full gear. For airdrop missions, it can handle loads of up to 19 tons. This mid-sized utility transport aircraft is known for its advanced design and modular configuration. It can quickly adapt to different missions, allowing both the internal and external setups to be changed rapidly to meet various operational needs. Modern technology is at the heart of the C-390. The aircraft is equipped with advanced mission software to assist the crew during operations. The cockpit features heads-up displays for an enhanced vision system supported by four cameras and utilizes Rockwell Collins Proline Fusion commercial avionics. How does the C-390 Millennium enhance its operational flexibility with its refueling capabilities? One of the standout capabilities of the C-390 is its in-flight refueling system. It can refuel other aircraft using two wing-mounted probes and drogue pods from Cobham PLC delivering fuel at a rate of up to 1,500 liters per minute. This capacity is crucial for extended missions and enhances the aircraft's operational flexibility. Powering the C-390 are two IAE V2500 E5 turbofan engines. These engines are mounted forward on the aircraft's high wing, which features an anhedral angle, slats, and high lift devices that can deflect up to 40 degrees. The landing gear, equipped with low pressure tires, allows the aircraft to operate on soft, unpaved surfaces or damaged runways. In terms of performance, the C-390 has a cruising speed of Mach 0.8, making it one of the fastest in the medium airlift market. What makes the C-390 Millennium truly cutting edge? The C-390 Millennium is packed with advanced features that make it stand out in the realm of military transport aircraft. Its fully fly-by-wire flight control system with active side sticks significantly reduces the crew's workload compared to traditional flight controls and allows for load factors up to 3G. An auto-throttle system further eases the pilot's job. 
Navigation on the C390 is top-notch thanks to systems supplied by Thales Group, including an inertial navigation system, GPS, and a collision avoidance system transponder. For tactical operations, the aircraft is equipped with Celex Galileo Gabbiano radar capable of various modes like ground-moving target indicator, synthetic aperture radar, inverse synthetic aperture radar, and search and rescue transponder. For self-defense, the aircraft often includes a directional infrared countermeasure suite from Elbit Systems. How does the integrated onboard maintenance system enhance the C390 Millennium's reliability? An integrated onboard maintenance system continuously monitors the health of the aircraft and its subsystems, ensuring everything runs smoothly and identifying issues before they become problems. Inside the hold, you'll find a cargo handling and aerial delivery system produced by DRS Defense Solutions. The aircraft also features amenities aimed at comfort and practicality, such as a galley, an accessibility-friendly toilet, automatic temperature control, and measures to reduce noise and vibration. How does the C390 Millennium compare to the C-130 Hercules? The C-130 Hercules has been a cornerstone of military transport since its induction in 1956. Renowned for its durability and versatility, it has been the go-to aircraft for many armed forces worldwide. However, the C-390 Millennium is emerging as a formidable competitor, especially in terms of payload capacity and modern technological advancements. The C-390 can carry a payload of 57,000 pounds compared to the C-130's 42,000 pounds. This 15% advantage is further reflected in the maximum takeoff weight. The C-390 can handle up to 87 tons, while the C-130 is limited to 70 tons. This significant difference establishes the C-390 as a modern, efficient, and capable aircraft designed to meet and exceed today's military operational requirements. When it comes to performance, the C-390 outshines the C-130. The C-390 reaches a stable flight speed of 540 miles per hour and a top speed of 615 miles per hour. In comparison, the C-130's Allison T-56 turboprop engines provide a steady cruising speed of about 540 miles per hour and a top speed of 592 miles per hour. Range is another area Area where the C-390 excels. The C-130 can fly 2,100 nautical miles with a standard payload and extend to 2,390 nautical miles with a 4,000-pound payload. In contrast, the C-390 boasts a typical range of 2,710 nautical miles and can achieve up to 3,370 nautical miles without cargo or passengers. Despite the C-390's advantages and efficiency, the C-130 Hercules remains competitive. Its excellent design and longevity are undeniable, and the fact that it continues to be a reliable choice even as newer models like the C-390 appear is proof of the quality and reliability built into the Hercules over its many years of service. How is the C390 Millennium making an impact on the global market? The C390 Millennium showcases the evolution of aerospace technology, delivering exceptional performance and modern features that support contemporary military operations. This aircraft is particularly notable for its cost efficiency, owing to its two-engine configuration compared to the four engines of the C-130. This design choice not only reduces costs related to spare parts and labor, but also minimizes maintenance downtime, enhancing the C-390's operational readiness and appeal. Embraer has also teamed up with BAE Systems to market the C-390 across the Middle East, targeting Kuwait, Qatar, Oman, Saudi Arabia, and the UAE. The C-390's efficiency and advanced capabilities have caught the attention of various global markets. Recently, the Hungarian Air Force's first C-390 Millennium successfully completed its maiden flight, marking a significant milestone. The aircraft underwent a thorough four-hour assessment and is now set for a rigorous testing phase before joining the Hungarian Air Force. Hungary made a notable decision in 2020 to purchase two C-390 aircraft, becoming the first to incorporate an intensive care unit, a critical feature for humanitarian missions. Why is the Asian market important for the C-390 Millennium? Embraer's success extends to the Asian market as well. South Korea's Defense Acquisition Program Administration selected the C-390 as part of its $544 million large transplant tactical aircraft program, making Embraer's first foray into Asia. This achievement follows a series of successful orders from European and Middle Eastern countries. In recent months, the C-390 has attracted attention from a diverse range of potential buyers. Brigadier Marcelo Knitz Damascino, the commander of the Brazilian Air Force, highlighted Austria, the Czech Republic, Egypt, India, Rwanda, South Africa, and Sweden as key targets for this aircraft. Angola is also considering replacing its aging Antonov AN-12 fleet with four C-390s, a move announced during a visit by Brazilian President Lula. 
Meanwhile, Columbia's Aerospace Force is eyeing up to 12 units, showing the growing interest in the C-390's capabilities. Egypt, following collaborative agreements with Embraer, hopes to add the C-390 to its fleet, while Greece is evaluating the aircraft as a potential successor to its old C-130H planes. Embraer has not yet disclosed specific target markets, but officials hinted that new customers might be announced in the first quarter of the year. What strategic partnerships are driving the C-390 Millennium's success in India? In a significant move, Embraer Defense and Security signed a Memorandum of Understanding with India's Mahindra Defense Systems. This partnership aims to offer the C-130 Millennium to the Indian Air Force, which is in the process of procuring medium transport aircraft. The IAF is looking to replace its aging AN-32 planes and is reportedly considering an order of 40 to 80 medium transport aircraft. Vinhod Sahay, president of the Aerospace and Defense Division at Mahindra, praised the C-390 as the most advanced military airlifter available. This collaboration not only aims to enhance the operational capabilities of the Indian Air Force, but also aligns with the Make in India initiative by providing a robust industrialization solution. In June, sources reported that Embraer was in discussions with Mahindra and Tata groups, among others, for an aircraft manufacturing partnership. Embraer, the world's third largest passenger jet maker, then announced the signing of of a memorandum of understanding with Mahindra Defense Systems. This 100% subsidiary of Mahindra focuses on armored transport and security-related products, including electronics. The MOU's objective is to jointly fulfill the acquisition of the C-390 Millennium multi-mission aircraft for the IAF's upcoming MTA procurement project. The IAF is looking for an MTA that can lift 18 to 30 tons, a process it expects to complete by 2025 or 2026. Embraer is pitching its latest defense product, the C-390 Millennium Multi-Mission Tactical Air Transport Aircraft, which it showcased at Aero India 2023 in Bengaluru in February. By collaborating with Mahindra Defense Systems, Embraer aims to strengthen its position in the Indian defense market. This partnership makes use of Mahindra's local expertise and Embraer's advanced technology, offering a solution to meet the IAF's transport needs. India has a diverse and strong defense and aerospace industry, and we have chosen Mahindra as our partner partner to jointly pursue the MTA program, said Bosco de la Costa Jr., President and Chief Executive of Embraer Defense and Security. This collaboration will see Embraer and Mahindra engaging with the Indian Air Force to identify the next steps and meet with representatives of India's aerospace industry. The goal is to start developing the industrialization plan for the project, ensuring a smooth integration of the C-390 Millennium into the IAF's fleet. This partnership is expected to bring significant benefits, including local manufacturing, job creation, and the enhancement of India's defense capabilities. Its advanced technology combined with Mahindra's local expertise makes it a strong contender to meet the IAF's medium transport aircraft requirements. How has Embraer previously collaborated with India in defense aviation? Embraer is not new to Indian defense aviation. The company has previously collaborated with the Defense Research and Development Organization, the DRDO, to manufacture three Netra airborne early warning and control aircraft based on Embraer's ERJ145 platform. These aircraft are operated by the Indian Air Force. Additionally, the IAF and the Border Security Force use Embraer's legacy 600 jets to transport government officials and other VIPs. By combining Embraer's advanced technology with Mahindra's local expertise, the collaboration aims to enhance India's defense capabilities while also providing local manufacturing and job creation opportunities. This partnership marks a significant step in strengthening the defense relationship between Brazil and India, with the potential to make India a key player in the production and deployment of the C-390 Millennium in the region. What has been the operational performance of the C-390 Millennium since its introduction? Since its entry into service with the Brazilian Air Force in 2019 and the Portuguese Air Force in 2023, the C-390 has steadily demonstrated its reliability and performance. The aircraft fleet has accumulated over 11,500 flight hours, maintaining an impressive operational capability of around 80% and a mission completion rate exceeding 99%. In 2023, the Brazilian Air Force certified the C-390 with full operational capability status, confirming its ability to perform all designated missions. The C-390 has been adopted by several countries, including Brazil, Portugal, Hungary, the Netherlands, Austria, the Czech Republic, and South Korea. Its versatility allows it to undertake various missions such as transporting and dropping cargo and troops, medical evacuation, search and rescue, aerial firefighting, and humanitarian operations. The aircraft is capable of operating on temporary or unpaved runways like dirt, soil, and gravel. Additionally, 
The KC-390 variant, equipped with aerial refueling capabilities, has demonstrated its proficiency as both a tanker and receiver, further showcasing its operational flexibility. What are Embraer's plans to increase the visibility and adoption of the C-390 Millennium? Embraer plans to showcase the C-390 in various countries in the region before returning it to Brazil. This promotional tour aims to boost the aircraft's visibility and attract more potential buyers. While Embraer hasn't announced and publicized orders from Southeast Asia yet, the company recently signed a maintenance repair and overhaul agreement with ST Engineering. This partnership is dedicated solely to the C-390, ensuring robust support for the aircraft in the region. Executives at Embraer have revealed plans to make use of their existing partnerships with Swedish firm Saab to explore new markets. Last May, the two companies signed a production line deal for Saab's Gripen fighters at Embraer's Gavio Pacheto plant in Brazil. Building on this collaboration, they have agreed to jointly pitch the C-390 to the Swedish Air Force. In December, Embraer signed a memorandum of understanding with the state-owned Saudi Arabian military industries. This agreement aims to pitch the C-390 to the Saudi Ministry of Defense and establish a regional maintenance repair and overhaul hub and assembly line in Saudi Arabia. These strategic partnerships and agreements show Embraer's proactive approach approach to expanding the market reach of the C-390 Millennium. By collaborating with well-established companies like Saab and Mahindra Defense Systems, Embraer aims to enhance the aircraft's appeal and secure new contracts in key regions. Thanks for joining us on this journey through the development and success of the Embraer C-390 Millennium. What do you think are the biggest challenges and opportunities for Embraer in expanding the C-390 Millennium's market reach? How might these factors shape the future of military transport aviation? If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to subscribe for more insightful content and share your thoughts in the comments below. Safe travels and happy subscribing.